For the median nerve, we've got to remember that the median nerve comes basically down the middle here, through the carpal tunnel and into the first, second and third fingers. So the neurodynamics test for the median nerve is, first of all, the hand position, take your index finger and put it across the thumb like this in a pistol grip. And that's your position there for the hand. So we start, we use your, our leg to support the forearm here, the, the, the upper arm here. We put our hand into the shoulder to prevent any sort of shoulder elevation. And the first thing we do is we abduct to between 90 and 110 degrees. We then externally rotate. We then supinate the forearm. So I'm pushing down with my index finger on the thumb here. We then extend the wrist and the first, second and third fingers. So remember, that's where your pressure needs to be on these first, second and third fingers all the time. And then the final movement is to extend the elbow. We then ask them to take the head sideways away and that's the median nerve in full stretch. If that elicits pain, then it could be nerve, could be muscle yet. So to decide whether it's nerve or muscle, we get them to bring the head back. If the pain gets less or goes away, then it's nerve. If it stays the same, then it's muscle. So that's your differential diagnosis. And then having decided it is nerve, we want to slide it. So go back into, if we go back into the full stretch, there's our full stretch position. To slide it, we need to just shorten that slightly for a starting point. So get them to bring their head back into the middle. And then as they take the head away, I need to keep that nerve the same length. So they're going to take the nerve away. I'm going to just let that extension of the wrist come off and back on. Off and back on. Off and back on. And that's the sliding of the nerve.